a very common notion in financial services is that women are risk averse. Now, I've had a 30 year career in financial services and this perception or this notion not only prevents women from getting credit because they're perceived to be risk averse and therefore their ability to borrow and deal with loans is considered to be low, but it also perceives their ability to create wealth because they are not shown products that are considered to be high risk, but obviously growth comes with a certain amount of risk. It is a fact that girls are grown with more boundaries than boys. So your whole journey of uh, becoming uh, an adult is uh, constantly surrounded by filters that you create around yourself because you want to be safe, you want to be protected. And this happens to everybody. It, it, it happens to rich women, it happens to poor women. And that definitely creates a certain, um, a certain psychological overload when it comes to dealing with loss. If you gave your money to somebody else to manage, uh, including your spouse or a friend or a father or a brother or a husband or an accountant, and that person made a wrong decision and lost money, you can be generous and forget about it. But if you do it yourself, you tend to beat yourself up. That's definitely something that I think uh, we need to deal with. On the other hand, this perception that women are risk averse is also wrong because the life of a woman is actually inherently fraught with dealing with risk. You, you are putting your body at risk. You're walking into a strange house after your marriage. You're so, so because you also learn to navigate uh, these unsafe spaces through your life, you actually have very strong acumen to deal with risk. You just need to put the two things together, become better investors, and best of luck to everybody for that.